We got to our cute little Irish cottage late last night. Slept under a huge blanket. Had about four cups of coffee this morning. <laughs> and now we're ready to explore Ireland. Today we are going into the city of Galway. We're staying in a small town that's like 20 minutes outside of the city. It's raining, I think, because it's Ireland. And we're going to try to find some fish and chips. And we really have like zero plans for today. Maybe walk around the city. Maybe after fish and chips, we'll feel like going on a little road trip because we have a car. We don't know. What will we do? <laughs> I went to the right side. It's locked. I don't know. <laughs> the keys are in my pocket and all Eight. my hands are full. Left hand side. You are on the best route. You will arrive at 1.24 p.m. The roads in Iowa are so skinny. Like after you get off the main roads, there's no, it's like cars, brick wall, trees, something over here. Which is scary because of the depth perception thing of driving on the opposite side of the car. spot. How many times do we need to make a circle around this parking lot, Nate? Five or six. But we found one. Four euros for all day parking. Much better than our parking experience in Amsterdam. <laughs> and it's quit raining. Sun's coming out and we're going to get fish and chips. Woo! Day's off to a good start. Let's go eat! Instagram followers told us about this place called McDonough's that I'm probably saying very wrong and after some further internet research we confirmed that they have some of the best fish and chips in all of Ireland. They catch the fish in the morning so it's always fresh and it looks so good. And I'm starving. Mm. There's vinegary stuff on the table. Are you supposed to put vinegar on your fish? Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh it's so crispy. Oh yeah, it's gonna be gone too soon. Yeah. Bless you. That was delicious. I could eat that same meal every single day for the next five days, which is how long we're gonna be in Ireland, and be so content. It was awesome. We might, we just might. I would come back here. <laughs> A uh, quick tip, if you do come here, you can order the fish and chips special for like $11-ish. 10 euros. 10 euros. Or you can just order fish and split a large fry and it's maybe even more Euro. fries than getting your own fish and chips. And 15, 15 euros, Euro you get just as much fish. And it's raining again. <laughs>
now I just have like a microphone. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to the camera, Kara? <laughs> I'm sorry for what I did. It was my idea to set the camera up there. <laughs> Testing. Testing. <laughs> Why is this so sad? Dang it. We need some tape. Some duct tape. I have some black electrical tape. It's raining again. And now it's sunny again. <laughs> this weather is crazy. We are back in the car. I have rubber banded the mic to the camera. The so guy over here. <laughs> hopefully it's a short term fix until we can find a new piece. And now we're gonna drive, where are we driving? We don't really know. We're driving west. So I think the coastal drive west is supposed to be really pretty. And then we're just gonna drive that way for some time. And then at some point we're going to cut up and there's like a lake and maybe it'll be pretty to drive around that. Oh, we have a car so we just feel like we should go somewhere. I think we're going north. I think, I think we are west. I think we're going further west. We're on the ocean right now. I don't think so. We just went and looked at the yeah, ocean. Yeah, but I think we're looking south. And I think now we're going west. I think we're looking at the ocean south. I'm going to have to look at a map. We're Let's just go. we're just making this up. You're right, we're going west. This is awesome. This is exactly what I pictured when I pictured renting a car in Ireland. We're just like turning down these little roads that are like narrow. There's a stone wall on one side, grass on another and we're just like discovering these little beaches. I really, really want to fly the drone that's in this backpack, but it's pretty windy. I can't decide. I mean, it's like really windy. You can probably tell from the microphone. Still a bit windy. I'm gonna take my chances. Hopefully this isn't the last drone footage in the Karen Nate vlog. <laughs> yeah, actually if you if I lose this, you won't even see the drone footage. How's it doing? It usually holds itself in the same spot like above me, so getting a few wind warnings. But my strategy is just fly into the wind, so if nothing else, it just pushes it back to. So far so good. We've been in the air for like 10 minutes, but it is somewhere. Oh, there it is. So we just drove from Galway all the way down the ocean to here and next we're going to drive north and we're going to try to drive around this lake all the way back down and I think we're staying somewhere like here-ish. This road is awesome, drone round two. Definitely the most successful active track I've ever had with this drone. That was awesome. Look, there's a castle on that island out there. What? Can you see it? Yes. It's tiny roads, there's yellow and purple flowers lining the side, there's mountains, lakes. 
green everywhere. I really want to fly the drone. We are back at Aldi for dinner because it's cheap and it's healthy and we really like Aldi. Our first day in Ireland was fantastic, getting to spend a little time in an Irish city and then basically just getting lost out in the countryside with the car, the scenery. I'm so glad we got away from all the tourist areas. It was so beautiful. We were seriously just picking random roads. We were like, oh, this road goes by the ocean. This road goes by a lake. We should just drive this way. And, and they no were people. incredible. Maybe all of Ireland looks like that. Maybe <laughs> we just got lucky, but I think we picked a really good route. It's so, awesome. So far, I'm just loving Ireland. I don't know what it is. I don't, if it's the super nice people, if it's their accents, if Nate it's really likes the Irish the culture. stone walls, the old houses, all of the little pubs. It just, I really like the font that everything is in. <laughs> it Irish just, font. It has so much going for it. Can't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow we're doing something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. The glyphs of mohair. So he is literally burning the end of my face. It's, it's like cold I, outside. I've got to push the clutch down, and every time I do, it gets my toe like this far away from the heater. <laughs> uh, uh, what is it? 